course. Um, I think it's actually worth noting this this funny story um, as we get into this game. So I was talking with uh, Amber Sinister of Melee Stats, and mm -hmm. we had noticed that uh, Ginger had tweeted how that he recently got a CPAP machine for sleep apnea, and suddenly yeah, started feeling, that. yeah, suddenly feeling that like now he's like, is this how everyone else feels after sleeping? Like I feel so well rested, and and Amy was just like, dude, Ginger's gonna be the best player in the world now. <laughs> like this whole time he was playing on like crappy sleep. Like, and Play especially at like a sixty percent, he's just gonna unlock exactly. in the next tier of his brain. <laughs> he's literally the like you only use fifteen percent of your brain guy, except like due to a sleep disorder. And so, you know, I want to see how that affects Ginger's play because like even at Genesis, I heard people say like, "Yo, that was like the best I've ever seen Ginger play." Like he was doing Ooh. so well. So, um, so far, playing pretty decent. Zamu got quite the lead though. Yeah, definitely had. Pretty crisp and buttery movement between um, his punish, his punish consecutive hits. You know, finding in the either a punish that might have been Ooh, true extended, but oh. finding a follow up grab, things like that nature, finding those true follow ups. And uh, Ginger, not too shy on following back hit for hit, about even percent, but gets that crouch cancel on an overextended drill. Looking for the first massive lead of the set, and Zamu might just get it with this reverse nair. Was worth that. Man. Randall was coming in a clutch for Zamu there. Not only does he land onto Randall from the downer, then gets saved by Randall once again. Ginger, not letting it phase him though, keeps it even, and even oh. it around here. Ooh. Yeah, I like the decision to grab ledge, kind of like it's sort of the safe option because it might cover stuff, and then if it doesn't, you're still in a good spot. But yeah, finding the invulnerability pretty... frames is never a bad idea. Being invincible is never a bad state. <laughs> yeah, it really, really is, at worst, invincible. <laughs> so, at best, leads to a kill. Yep. And we're finding ourselves back in the center stage. Dueling shines, like the dueling pianos, and Ginger does come on top. Occupying that ledge, using that invincibility to at least threaten to, the, the bird back to stage. And we're going absolute blow for blow here. Last stock situation, only 10% separates. Yeah, this is not exactly how I thought it would play out. I kind of thought that this would be one of those sets where like we'd see an initial clear kind of lead and then more adaptation. Um, and this has just been, like you said, blow for blow. It does still feel like Ginger has a bit of an edge, but like Zamu has been surprisingly kind of tenacious in spots. And oh, that should do it though. Oh, juicy laser reset for Ginger is going to clean up game number one. But yeah, you were saying it. Zamu's finding a lot of creative openings here. Uh, definitely is a master of the scramble. I do love to bring up this little point. Uh, Zamu has been a a great networking star when it comes to uh, getting friendlies with other top players on stream. Has been playing a lot with Bobby Big Balls um, in the last few months, so definitely is uh, not a uncommon thing to tune into one of their streams and they're duking it out, you know, going zero to deathing each other over and over, so definitely masters of the scramble in that way, but Ginger definitely a very different brand of Falco than Bobby, and uh, as we're seeing it, Ginger taking him for a wild ride and an SCI will take Zamu all the way to his death. Zero to death here for Ginger. Yeah, and on a stage where we're going to see quite a lot more of that, potentially right now, gets the down air and that Oh is my god, look at a stocks. minute! Yeah, we are up a clean two stocks from Ginger, already getting a third opening, and like, really patient in the corner, but Zamu answering back. Oh, Zamu getting the cross up near my just- Yep, and the double laser, that is not safe in that yeah, situation. I, I like the cross up near, like you mentioned, it's just one of those things that, uh, kind of messed up Ginger's DI. He wasn't expecting him to probably go for the Nair in the first place and then landing behind him, just further throwing him off. But Ginger doing a good job of controlling the corner. This is kind of what I would say Ginger is known for. He plays the game in a very like uh, advantage based play style. So he always wants to be doing, like be in situations where he has control and run away from situations where he doesn't, if that makes sense. Yeah, finding himself in a situation where he's up three stocks to one, definitely. So like you're yeah. saying, you know, picking those spots extraordinarily intelligently. Oh, weak hit's going to continue this tech chase oh. and charge it just a little bit for a pixel perfect kill off the top. Zamu, knowing those percentage, knowing those thresholds, might just be his ticket <gasps> back into this game. Say, it. That is it. Wow. Like all of a sudden we're back to an even game. Zamu just able to have the awareness to know to shine there. Um, yeah, that's so tricky. And even gets his shield up in time before the dare. And this, this is what we were seeing before, where it feels like it should be more one-sided. He even kind of was more one-sided. Uh, and then Zamu finding a way to turn it back. What are we watching right now? Yeah, Zamu definitely showing that 
getting zero to death really quick over and over is not too threatening of a game state. Definitely finds his way back in. Tag chase up smash. Yes, sir. Zam who crawls it back from the jaws of defeat. Yeah, definitely uh, noticing a little bit of lag on my end of the broadcast. So I think for both of us, we might, might want to hold tab because once I held tab, we like immediately accelerated forward. Mm -hmm. um, I saw the match, but yeah, that was a great uh, match. Um, Wait, that's a thing? You just hold tab? And it, yeah, like if you're, if you're lagging. Do? Oh, I've never done that before. Interesting. It basically like if you're if you're slightly behind, that's what you gotta do. Oh. But um, crazy to see uh, Zamu taking the lead. Like already, we are in a situation where we could very, very, very easily see Zamu take it at a 3-0. But if you watch the games, it's 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 literally the like close 3-0 kind of meme. <laughs> but like. It goes a level deeper. It's the, I was up two stocks to one cleanly and somehow still lost level of a 3-0, if we see that. So crazy play from Zamu. Zamu on and off ledge. Bread and butter is looking really good right now here for Zamu. Yeah, Zamu's just showing that spark, you know, to make those juicy comebacks. Finding in a couple of habitual reads here, like we saw with those shines on those uh, right side lasers from ledge. You have to see if... Will Ginger find these mix-ups, at least on these habitual situations? Masterful lasers and the shine off the top of very oh. great tech from Zamu, but Will get chased down for his stock. Ginger in a good spot right now. Yeah, absolutely. I like um, the down tilt from Ginger as well. I feel like Ginger's one of those players that does a really good job of just kind of like, kind of knowing the sort of micro situations, the like random percents. Um, not that down tilt isn't a good kill option uh, for Falco, but it's not the way you see him killing Fox most of the time they're just a sign of a good player someone who's kind of like pushing every advantage they can't they have as far as possible oh, great china shield from zamu gets sort of looks for the counter punch oh. but a great presence of mind from ginger you know give the top player the credit they deserve they're gonna hit that off attack from time to time at least be in a position to punish it if it comes out so i do see in chat uh smuckers mentioning that like didn't ginger win the first game i kind of thought ginger won the first game as well so i don't know if i'm if i'm uh yeah confused yeah seeing that it was one on one I, like, I looked at the scoreboard and I was like, oh, damn, Zamu won that game on Yoshi's? But looks like that wasn't the case, and looks like uh, this game might be going to Ginger 2, but Zuffy answering back. Wait a minute. Oh, yep, and that's, that's a good. really poor angle there for that continuation. Uh, Ginger currently up 2-1 in the set. Um, but we've seen it. In every single one of the games so far, Zamu has the potential, has the power, firepower. Should you send this to a game five, if not take it all the way out? Yeah, no, I think like what I'm seeing from Zamu right now is someone who's playing pretty well in the kind of quick sort of scrambly moments. Um, but then Ginger just seems to be executing his game plan and the matchup a bit better. You yeah. know, he's often positioning himself very intelligently. He's kind of mixing up his approaches. But then, like, when there's a kind of crazy situation, all of a sudden, Zamu turns it around. Zamu has the jump and the tech. Yep. Defensive game looking strong. And scramble situations, definitely some unconventional openers. We saw a drill into edge cancel falling up there uh, for the first opener from Zamu. And occupying that airspace with the flying neutral air. Love to see that uh, utilization of that long-lasting hitbox. Zamu looking good, but Ginger looking like he's going to tie it up really quick. Yeah, and I love the back air from Ledge. Good read from Ginger, keeping it simple um, and doing a good job of stalling out the invincibility. Almost gets clipped by Zamu, but keeping it going. Ooh, even the turnaround laser there. Trading some blows here, looking for one neutral opening. Oh, just holds that shield, gets the wave dash out of shield, trying to open her and taking him absolutely for a lengthy ride for 83%. And holding it down with some up smashes in place. Why not just continue the combo? And we're just going to take it all the way for a stop. Why not? Why not? Yeah, just beautiful punish sequence from Ginger there. I really like uh, Zamu's attempts at the SDI, particularly on the kind of harder hitting moves. He did do his best to live there, and that kind of defensive play does matter a lot. Even turning this opening into an opening of his own. Beautiful sequence from Zamu. Wow, we are back to an even game already. Yeah, we love to see these punish game extensions coming out from these players. Early up here might have just given the juggle that Zamu needs to take another lead here. Yeah, interesting to see both shield. players actually getting called out um, in the air. Ginger right now has been doing a oh, as a, as a way of dealing with Fox's drill. He often is like trying to keep himself in the air, air so that when he gets pulled kind of down, he's still actionable for Fox's. Oh. We just saw Zamu doing that as well. So 
both of them trying to kind of deal with their neutral options in a kind of creative way. Patience out of the corner, but it looks like, yep, Ginger, you gotta find that reverse down air. And last stock situation. We keep on saying it over and over again. Oh, almost finds the oh. chillin' dude tech chase, tech chase up smash, but Ginger on an absolute monstrous pursuit. Hold up, hold that center stage, hold that center stage. Cross up shine, scoops him. Doesn't find the weak hit, wait a minute. We are in a oh, situation so next hit could win. Yeah, just the pr good solid narrow the shield. I like, you know, Ginger always a player who likes to oh! stay in Wait the corner, minute. keep the pressure going. This that is was so the greatest. Close. That was the greatest kill attack I've ever seen in my whole life. Catches the jump out of shield. Still has a double jump. Occupies it. No jump. Just has the Firefox. Can Ginger clean it up? And top players.